Bangkok and floods across Thailand as well. As a Japanese tsunami have exposed a shortage of rescue helicopters in Asia, the man has increased this year as countries are forced to cope with various disasters. Bell Helicopter CEO John Garrison told the BBC Shanjit Lail, firms like his are now targeting China and Indonesia as key buyers of these helicopters. I think every time there's a, a natural disaster like that, every government around the world realizes they don't have enough vertical assets to take care of the population. So the floods, the earthquakes, they realize they don't have what they need to take care of the population. So that's creating greater demand for our products because that's when they're most in use is to, is to meet the needs of the people when they're you know, in distress. And which markets in, in the region are you particularly optimistic about? Well, here in this region, we're, we've seen a rise in orders in Malaysia and Indonesia and China. And we expect China to be significant in growth uh, over the next uh, five to ten years. You know, you think 20 years ago on the, on the automobile side, China wasn't very large. And now it's the world's largest auto market. I'm not saying it's going to be the largest helicopter market in 20 years, but it's going to increase dramatically over where it is today. Now, in China, you can't sell them military helicopters. You can only sell commercial helicopters. So do you find that limits your growth there? It really doesn't limit our, our growth potential at all, uh, to be honest. There, there is so much potential on the commercial side and the parapublic side. Selling the governments for search and rescue type helicopters is that sort of thing. The inability to sell the military-specific helicopter really is not going to impact our growth in China.